Hello Masaka Universe, let's do another top 10 ahead of the Champions League final. I hope you will enjoy it. I'm looking at the best jersey matchups in a Champions League final and for now I'm really going to restrict myself only to the Champions League, so starting 93 to the present time. This would also include this, not the one that's here, but uh, Spurs against Liverpool. However, I can tell you a reason why it's not in there and I said it already in the preview video. Spurs is playing in all white but with the gradient into the navy onto the bottom and then white shorts it looks just too odd to be in there. Otherwise this would be one of those classic red versus white matchups. Um, I have not done now a study but I think most of the finals are either red against white or red against um, blue matchups. Those are the typical matchups. And at number 10, we're starting with one of those, but with a twist. We're looking at the 2004 final between Porto and Monaco. Um, yes, it is red versus blue, or blue versus red, however you want to look at it, but we have the striped Porto shirts, which I generally do like the Porto shirts. It's just that this particular iteration, especially on the back, looked a little bit odd. And I do like the Monaco shirts with the sash, uh, where the upper side is red, the lower is white. This is a very, very classic and very unique look only to Monaco. Um, and those two just fit it together. It was the outsider final. I don't remember this is a great final or so on. I remember that I was actually quite, you know, after Milan was out, I was quite happy that we get such an outsider final because it was really something that the Champions League needed. That's not always the same teams all the time. On the other side, um, you also gotta say, it was a good looking final. It really was good looking. Those two are classic shirts and therefore it's my number 10. At number nine, I have the 2001 final between Bayern and Valencia. And I have to say, while the Valencia jersey uh, might be a kind of, how to say, bland template by Nike, although the more I see it, the more I like it. I like the white with the two black stripes uh, and then a nice color going with it. And the Terra Mythica sponsor on there really looks great for Valencia. And I've been looking at this jersey on my site for quite, quite a while. I have never quite pulled the trigger, but this is a shirt I start liking. But what this carries in the top 10 is the Bayern shirt. This Bayern shirt, and I do not like Bayern Munich, but I have to say, Whenever I saw this, I thought this is an excellent, excellent shirt. Uh, it is made to look like it's straight out of the 70s, 80s with just the red, with the white crew neck collar. It was made to look retro. Uh, and probably the first time that this was uh, done like that, that it really takes a retro look and you had just your red with a little bit of white, what uh, Bayern Munich fans so much crave to see. Um, and I gotta say, I said it back then, I say it now. This is probably the best Bayern shirt that I remember. And there have been a few nice ones, but this one is really super nice. And for that, it's number nine in my list. Number eight is a red versus blue matchup. We just had red, red against white. Red versus blue, 2008 Manchester United against Chelsea. Um, and mainly because of the red versus blue. I like this Manchester United shirt, although I'm not sure about the AIG box sponsor, but overall this is a really nice jersey with only this little taping with the devil in there. Uh, I know I never could make do I like it, do I not back in the day, but the more I look at it, I really like this one. It is simple, it doesn't need to do more, and it has the United crest on there. The Chelsea shirt on the other side is... Um, modern, fancy looking, but actually quite nice. I really like the color in it. I thought this would be a great jersey to get a Champions League title in. If Terry wouldn't have slipped, we would be talking about uh, Champions League for Chelsea. So it became United. The jersey matchup, a classic red versus blue, white shorts uh, were in there. So it gives it a little bit more color. I think this also looked really, really nice. Enough of red, white, blue. 
number seven is the 1997 final between Dortmund and Juventus. Uh, Juventus in 96 and in 97 played in their blue away jerseys, um, which were great. Um, I don't like the 97 version as much because uh, it has the yellow sides and then the star is not filled, but the star is there. It looks it looks good, but it doesn't look perfect. Uh, the 96 version, I can promise you this will come later. This one looks perfect to me, uh, but it's still a great kit. Uh, this blue one and one of the best Champions League final scores was scored in that kit. This was the one goal that you were scored by Del Piero when you thought they might come back get back in if it wasn't for Las Rican, who played in probably the last neon yellow Dortmund shirt. And I have to say this is a great shirt. It is very late 1990s. You have kind of a black um, shoulder yoke, then you have all neon yellow, it's separated with a little bit of white and then a thin yellow stripe across the belly. Um, I think the only thing that I don't like about it is that there's this black in there, but the blue and the neon yellow make for a really great vibrant game and it was a vibrant game. For me maybe the wrong winner, but it was a vibrant game. So. Definitely worth of a spot in my top 10. I have it at number 7. At number 6, here we feature all the main colors. We have red, blue and white. Number 6 is the 2009 Champions League final between Manchester United and Barcelona. Barcelona winning. I like this one because a Manchester United played in a very pleasing white kit that was specially made for this final because they had only blue away kit and a red kit which of course you cannot use against Barcelona so they need to make a white one and I thought they did a pretty uh, good job at delivering such a nice shirt for them. That Barcelona played in half and half shirts um, kind of sweetened the pot a little bit. I, it's not my preferred Barcelona look even the colors were not uh, my map for colors, but it made for a nice look. I like when um, blue and red are paired with a white opponent. I mean, El Clasico. And there was blue and red on the Manchester United shirt as well. Made for a really great overall look for that final. And yeah, we had, it was not a great final, but we had a great winner. Number five is the 93, the very first Champions League final between Marseille and Milan. And boy, does it pain me to have it in there. But I have to say, as much as I wanted to forget about that final back in the day, fortunately, there was another final in quick succession thereafter that made me uh, overcome this. But I have to say, seeing Milan in red and black with white pan, uh, pants, I think they played in white pants in that final, even. Uh, pants clash, I think. Uh, you see the picture here and you will be able to see if I say stupid stuff or not. Uh, anyway, uh, that uh, the red and black against the white and light blue of Marseille. And I have to say those Marseille jerseys are a classic these days. Uh, I absolutely have to say, also with the French flag going around the color. Classic early 90s uh, Adidas templates looks wonderful. And I have to say, uh, Marseille's color scheme with white and a little bit dash of light blue is one of the better ones in Europe. So yeah, a white against red but a little bit black and light blue thrown in there. Number four is again one that features all uh, colors. It's the 2015 final between Barcelona and Juventus. Boy does this look good. First of all, those Barcelona shirts are near perfect. What well, is not perfect, of course, the sponsor. And the other thing that's not perfect is that, and that, but that's me, very, very nitpicky. The dark red tone, which is the wonderful uh, gran, um, gr um, gr grana, granite uh, red that Barca uses, and the blue, they should be switched. That's the only complaint I have about this shirt, but this shirt uh, looks great. Of course, sponsor, I, I absolutely cannot stand the sponsor. But this shirt looks absolutely great. And also Juventus had a wonderful, this was the last Nike shirt for Juventus. Also a very wonderful looking shirt. 
um, paired with the white socks, uh, made for a super classic look, super uh, optically punch there. You had the high contrast Uber shirts against the kind of more blendy uh, red and blue Barca shirts. Wonderful look. Uh, that, yeah, I think the game even lived up to that as well. I really, really liked watching that final from a visual point of view against the green of the grass. And then the blue um, surroundings in Berlin, that made it for a great uh, overall look. Let's go to some honorable mentions. I go through it chronologically. The first one is 2002 uh, between Real Madrid and Bayer Leverkusen. I really love those Real Madrid shirts, white with just the black stripes, otherwise sponsorless. A very seamless, flawless look, although I think the stripes ending here at the collar and then the collar just white. Um, it's maybe a little bit lost, but overall those are really, really nice shirts. Um, and then also the Leverkusen shirts, which are kind of the Milan look, but with black pants, uh, gave it a nice contrast. Um, looked sharp, and then the best goal, or one of the two best goals in Champions League finals scored, was in there. And another one is the 2005 final between uh, Milan and Liverpool, the one that I want to forget. Um, Classic red versus white matchup, um, and usually the Milan shirts that they're wearing in the final in white, they always, they most of the time look great. This time not so much because they had this weird color, and I know this is super neat, neat picky, but I have to say having the Scudetto in the center didn't give it as clean of a look as I wish from a Milan shirt. Almost all the other Milan shirts that Milan wore in the final looked a little bit classier than this one. I never was a fan of this 2005 uh, shirt and yeah, now I want to mostly forget about it because of the, how, how the final went. The Liverpool shirts were kind of um, similar to the Manchester United shirt in 2008, kind of just bare bones, uh, just red, there was a little bit white uh, below, but other than that, uh, it was a Reebok effort, and hey, Reebok, uh, in case you didn't know. Uh, if Liverpool wins, it will be New, uh, New Balance's first uh, Champions League and it's the first time that we don't have Adidas or Nike since, I think, this Reebok win by uh, Liverpool. So Liverpool is bookending an era. Um, yeah, was a Reebok shirt that was nice. Nothing spectacular though, and that's why it's not in my top 10. Uh, 2012 is in there. This was the Chelsea-Bayern uh, matchup. Um, I overall like the match of the blue against red was great. There are just two uh, drawbacks. Um, the white shoulder yoke for Chelsea, although I really would like to have this jersey now. The white shoulder yoke always looked weird to me. Um, and the other thing is the gold used by Bayern. Although of, if, I, if there's any team in the world that can uh, safely use gold because they're winning so much, it is Bayern. But I think at that time, they were not even champions of Germany, so the goal was a little bit weird, but I, overall those jerseys were not that bad. The red, very plain red with a little, little bit of gold, it looked actually quite nice. And um, But, you know, not the perfect ones in either way, hence not in the top 10. 2014, the first uh, Real Atletico final. Um, I like when they play against each other. The only cumbersome thing, uh, if uh, Real plays Atleti, is of course a little bit of a color clash because you have the red white stripes against pure white. Fortunately, there are the blue pants uh, there, but you know it's a little a little bit too much white on white. It made with the solid red sleeves. It made up for that, um, and I think it looked really good. I actually liked that Madrid jersey at the time with a little bit of orange in there. Uh, it was something different, but it was not uh, boring. Um, I have to say, of this, of the four of the past decade that Real Madrid won it in the home jersey, I think this was probably the one of the better, if not the best one. I actually had have have a soft spot for that one. And then 2017, another Real Madrid, and I have to say, this is probably the better jersey. Uh, Juve against Real Madrid. I don't like the Juve jerseys because they had this weird striping pattern, the thick black and white, and then with the um, pinstripes in opposing colors. That looked weird, but it all made up by the wonderful purple shirts by Real Madrid. The black and white against the purple is not a matchup we, we see very, very often. I think 
purple shorts were only worn once in the European Cup final before. That was in the second one when Real Madrid beat Fiorentina 2-0. Um, I think that was the only time that other time that the purple shirt was worn in a European Cup slash Champions League final. Please correct me if you know better, but I think that's uh, I'm correct on that one. Um, because of the Juve shirts, this is not in the top 10, but this would have been close in there because the white against the, the black and white against the purple, I really liked that one, but the Juve shirts were not great. So we come to our top three. At number three, I have the 94 final. Um, I love the Milan shirts in that one. I love the Barcelona shirts in that one. I love the result in that one. Uh, the Milan shirts were custom made for that final. My only complaint is maybe the color a little bit too much red in there. Other than that, they look super fine. Just plain white. You have the Scudetto there. You have um, the color is red and black, as it should be. It looks wonderful. It is a great look. Pair that with one of the best Barcelona jerseys from that period. Maybe the best one. Although uh, the, some of the Mabel shirts give it a run for the money. But... Um, those were great shirts, uh, although they had a little bit white in there. And that's exactly why I like this matchup. It was white with a little bit red, and then the red and blue with a little bit of white. So that it was cohesive, um, and I always like when Milan plays Barcelona in their away jerseys. It's always a great look. The red, blue against white always works. The El Clasico look is one of the best looks in soccer. I gotta say, you cannot do much wrong there. And you have all the main colors of uh, soccer shirts in there. Number two is the 2007 final where I'm wearing the Milan shirt. Um, I was a little bit surprised about that one, but the more I look at it, I never was a big fan of this template. But the fact that both teams wore this template in this final is already a big plus. This gives very much cohesion to the, the overall look. And then both shirts were more or less the best versions of this one because they didn't... I mean, Milan is only accentuating this one, but here on the side, the white sliver here is, uh, uh, could have been red, but it's not. It, they just use a thin outline here, which makes for a very sweet, classic, and with the shape here, um, dynamic look that I absolutely love. And the same is true for the Liverpool shirt, that it was just red and they are outlining with a white. So you have the same shape, but uh, in opposing colors, red against white is always nice. And it's a great overall look. You cannot complain about that one. And yes, I have a sweet spot for, 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 for this final, but I think if the 2005 final was played with between those two teams, uh, between those two shirts, it would be there. Jacket, it looks great. You never see as cohesive uh, a look of two opposing jerseys ever. And number one, I kind of leaked it already in my big favorite Champions League final is the 96 final between Ajax and Juve. Ajax's shirt, the red and white is already perfect. Add to it the solid blue with a touch of yellow by Juventus. You have uh, white, blue, red are in there and then you add a little bit of yellow and it looks gorgeous. This is my absolute favorite look. Those Juve shirts are one of the best shirts ever to win a Champions League final. And that will be another countdown. I'm a little bit waiting for uh, how the game will end tomorrow uh, to see. Those Juve shirts are fine and you never can fault with the Ajax look. Um, remember when I said I like the Monarch look, I like the Ajax look even better. This is such a classic, identifiable look. And almost every shirt against the play looks good with that look. Um, and the blue actually really, the blue of Juve with the yellow, where you have actually the contrast of those, those are contrasting colors, but they just so nicely augments uh, the color palette and then the green, my favorite look. Well, let me know which uh, final jersey matchup you prefer best. Uh, also, give me a thumbs up if you like this video. Subscribe to my channel if you want to see more videos like this. I will talk to you soon. Bye. Hey there. I really hope you enjoyed this video. And if you did, here are some videos and playlists that might be of interest to you too. Also, please consider subscribing to my channel as it will give you all the updates on my channel, all things My Soccer Universe. And with that, I want to wish you a wonderful day.